58 hours. 58 hours. In the tunnel. God, already, this isn't good. Quite possibly the most terrifying leap you've ever seen in your life. Bizarrely swam for it, as you said. <laughs> it's just crazy. Yeah, yeah. Hi, my name is Paul. And I'm Rebecca. We make videos about old abandoned railways, canals, tunnels, routes. Today happens to be an old abandoned tunnel or two on the Herefordshire to Gloucester Canal. This video is also sponsored by the good people at Nord. More on their deal they have on offer for you today, a bit later in the video. But for the meantime, join us on what is a rather strange leet heading down to a rather scary canal tunnel. Wait, are we the... We no, I'm not going to right. Uh, better? Yeah. Oh my god, we love tunnels! Yes, yes, we do, we do, we do. Recently, we visited the Herefordshire and Gloucestershire Canal. Now, it's part abandoned, part restored, and there's a wonderful team of people doing just that. And they're doing a wonderful job, and we made a video about it. You, you can watch it. In one it of these corners. In one of the corners. We didn't include, in that video, the... Tunnels! Tunnels! Because we wanted to make this video about the tunnels separately, because they're wonderful, they're evocative, they are quite scary in some places. So first of all, you join us on the first tunnel of the day, the southernmost tunnel on the first section of the canal, Oxenhall Tunnel, standing at... 2,192 yards long. Now, because we filmed this over the course of a weekend, well, you join me this time on my own, um, but you'll catch up with Rebecca and I at the Northern Portal. So. First job is to have a look at the southern portal of this immensely long canal tunnel. I've got a stick, which I think I may need for safety reasons. So as this tunnel was built a lot earlier, <laughs> the issue we've got is there was no towpath. It just disappears. And this is this is already a problem. There is no towpath. I appear to be stood in mud already. This isn't good. Um, I can't even see the tunnel yet and I'm already stood in mud. Um, so this is, I want to need to find a different way. This isn't good. Okay, southern portal aborted. Absolutely no way up there unless you've got a, a strong pair of waders and a strong mindset as well to go wading up a disused canal which could be potentially three feet deep in silt and a few feet deep in water. Now I'll let you into a quick secret. Um, there is a video online by a chap called Parkinson and he has gone up there and the title of the, of the video which was dedicated to just doing that was do not do this. So what is the other end of the 2,000 yard tunnel uh, portal looking like today? Let's go and have a look. So failed southern portal. Let's head that 2,000 yards north to see if we can find the northern portal. Now, as we head in that direction, it's probably worth noting that my son's favorite movie is Sonic Movie 2. What's that got to do with this video? Well, thanks to the team at NordVPN, I've managed to secure myself some significant brownie points with my son. Oh, well that's kind of cool, but how'd you do that? Well, it turns out that to watch Sonic Movie 2, it's actually out in America before it is here in the UK. Well, the only way to access this here in the UK is via your phone and computer using a VPN. NordVPN allowed me to change my device's location and hey presto, I'm in the United States watching Sonic Movie 2 with the boy. That's epic. Now, if you click in our link in the doobly-doo below, our special link, you can sign up to Nord with two-year plan plus a month extra free. So that works out around, around about £2.39 per month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And don't forget, it's not just a changing of location you get with NordVPN, there's a whole bunch of other wonderful bonuses to signing up to NordVPN. The security aspect is essential for us with the travelling we do because it stops third parties being able to view our online activity. 
even if it's as basic as adverts popping up on the thing that you've just Googled. Speaking of security, the S in HTTPS is still missing from so many websites and clicking on one of those can expose your data. NordVPN give you that extra online security, so be sure to click in the link in the doobly-doo below and take advantage of that special deal by clicking on our special code. Into the trees above the northern portal and already we've come to some masonry which we presume again is for the, the, the feed of the leak that we found there that goes down into the canal and there's a steep drop down I feel like we're going to find something quite positive here. Uh, look at that, that is beautiful isn't it? That is quite amazing. So we're just about at the northern portal now and you can see me climbing down the hill to try and reach it. All good, we're going to see what's happening there. Now when we research these videos, we try and look at old newspapers, a British newspaper archive I think it's called, just to see if there's any quirky stories. Now Rebecca did that on this occasion. Mm -hmm. and I did, I found two about the same tunnel within a week of each other. When you have a, uh, let's call it a, um, a single narrow boat tunnel, very very thin, so nine feet wide, you can obviously only get one boat passing at the same time. So you're only allowed in each portal at specific times, so boats didn't meet in the middle. However, this first particular time, um, they were a little bit stubborn. They both went in at the same time and neither of them wanted to budge. Uh, it was reported that they were stuck in there for 12 hours. Now that well, does it, sound bad. It does sound amazing, doesn't it? So let's just clarify, one boat has gone in from each end of the tunnel. Yep. They've met in the middle, yep. so they're around about a thousand yards, a kilometre from either end and neither of them had given way because they had to leg in these tunnels, right? So they're yep. upside down legging and would you want to leg two hours, three hours backwards away you come because you've met in the middle. And the other problem was is other boats were coming in behind both of them. But a week later, another article was produced retracting the 12 hours saying, nope, I'm sorry, we got it wrong. It was 58, 58 hours. hours. Which is mad, 58 hours in yep. a tunnel. So there's a million questions. How did they survive? I presume they had supplies because they were on a long canal. Yeah, they must do because they were on the canals anyway. But yeah, it but was yeah, just A insane. day, two and a half days in a tunnel they were effectively trapped. What a fascinating story. So I'm now nearly at the bottom of the huge cutting. There's some really weird stuff going on here with a, with a channel going around the back of it. Let's see what we can find here. First issue is the tunnel portal. I don't know where it is. It should be here, <laughs> but I can't see it. Canals down there. So it must be by right down there. I must be stood on top of the portal. Very strange. Yeah, this one is easy to get down, so we go down here first. Right, help me out, good people, help me out. I cannot find the portal, this is the craziest thing. Um, we're, not, we're not much higher than the actual, um, where the canal would have been down there. So we are maybe two feet above canal level. And I've got in front of me here a brick faced uh, wall, a, a, a wall, few bricks deep, no sign of an arch. Over here, um, some brick on the floor, which looks like it's bricked in an arch shape. So that would indicate that maybe it's fallen down. So maybe the portal was through that way somewhere, but that doesn't, it doesn't look right. It's not adding up and I don't understand. Okay, let's have a quick look up this leet. I feel like this leet would have been a lot thinner. Obviously the sides have fallen down um, and come and fed into the canal beside the portal. But where exactly the portal was, I don't know. More brickwork here. Again, indicating the surround of the face, the portal face of the tunnel. I think we're stood on top of the portal right now. If that is the case, a bit dangerous. So that concludes the on the ground search for the tunnel. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of random brickwork, which I assume were leaked heading down to the tunnel, but can't quite figure out this one as it was. Could do with seeing some pictures, some documentation about what it actually did look like. Onwards to the next tunnel, Asperton. Tunnel number two for the day is called Asperton. Fascinating story with this. This is built in the second half of the, the canal's history. But it's well worth having a look at that portal. It, yeah, it's quite scary because yeah. yes. it's, it's full of water basically. 
This is next to a house, is it not? Yes, so it is not on public land, so it is not for the public to just tip up and look at whenever they want to. It's on somebody's house at the bottom of their garden. But suffice to say, it was built by uh, Stephen Ballard. He was obviously the contractor at the time. He built that house there that you can see from the road to um, live there essentially and help build the tunnel quickly. Keep an eye on it, basically. Yeah, but now obviously it's a private dwelling, so please don't go there without sort of any any permissions in place because it is a private garden. The guy in the um, the house, lovely chap, and obviously the trust guy that's down there. Now you'll also not want to go and see this tunnel for reasons you'll see when we get to the bottom, right? Mm-hmm. portal which is this fascinating um serrated edge oh, goodness me so that. we're we're actually standing in the canal now but yeah. th this is obviously the Seeps stuff's come bit, down yeah. and, and it's just filled it that's in. that's crazy isn't somebody it? must have put that in because that's right in the middle of the canal yeah basically wow what a little bit of an landscape this is crazy isn't it isn't it amazing <laughs> So as you'll have seen by the pictures and by the film there, it's quite treacherous. That's probably about, I don't know, eight or nine feet deep in water held by a dam half a mile down the canal, which can be removed and will be removed when the canal needs uh, restoring at that section. There is an article on one of the websites, I think 28 days later, I'll put a link again in the description below, of a chap, I won't pronounce his name, but let's say his first name is Bertie, who went through it completely mad took some pictures along the way have a look at that article just insane he went through it with his neck just above the water line yep. not knowing what was down below and beneath quite staggering don't do that don't don't People do don't any of do this because it's so dangerous we were stood on the ledge where we were told it was very safe mm -hmm. we took some pictures and walked back up the embankment don't go down there don't go and see it, have a look online because you'll get some much better pictures and a view than you ever will by actually going down there yourself. Very dangerous. So a lot of these, uh, Tony, were original steps. These steps were completely covered. Well, well we sort of, we're not sure. Oh, okay, well, they're certainly yeah. of a period because they're yeah. very well worn, aren't they? Yeah. On to final tunnel oh actually before we go on to the final tunnel oh. a quick look at the northern portal not a lot to see there but here's a couple of pictures from from our view from above so that was Ashburton tunnel absolutely fascinating absolutely terrifying in so many different ways one more tunnel to go which is in Hereford tunnel number three tunnel number three <laughs> well it turns out that half of this tunnel has been infilled, it's under part of the town, and the portal that you could still see if you were up for a bit of trespassing is completely blocked over anyway, so there's absolutely no gain whatsoever. We have got some pictures which you could be looking at now from the Trust, so have a look at these and enjoy it for what it is. This has been a quite an adventure, the whole Herefordshire and Gloucestershire Canal adventure has been an amazing one for us. You can go and visit the Trust on their website, you can get involved, you can volunteer and you can do all the good things, right? Yes. Makes it feel good and warm and fuzzy inside. Yes. And of course, a big thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video and making it possible. Yep, check out the link in our doobly-doo below for their special offer. And from Rebecca and I, uh, big thanks for watching mm. and we'll see you this time next week.